Hey, Viking fans, this is Keith Millard, and you are listening to The One Bar and Lupicus Show. Go Vikes! All right, welcome back to The One Bar and Lupicus Show. I am One Bar and news, news. We got some Viking news this morning. Stephen Weatherly, the love that we lost, who went to Carolina last year after spending four years with the Vikings, is officially back. It appears it is a one-year deal. I haven't seen what the actual numbers are. Something tells me it's probably not going to be over, overly expensive. Um, but yeah, he is back. Stephen Weatherly, still only 26 years old, former seventh round pick. One of those guys that uh, the Vikings took in round seven, kind of like uh, Odenabo, and just groomed him to be a pretty damn good defensive lineman to the point where Carolina chucked some money at him last offseason. And, and it was sad to go. We knew he was leaving, but um, didn't work out in Carolina. But the fact that it didn't work out in Carolina means it's working out for Vikings fans because we know we need help along the defensive line. And Weatherly absolutely absolutely helps that uh last couple of years he spent with the vikings he started in about seven games uh had six sacks most importantly um he did the steamroller on the uh on the ground when he got excited which was one of the better celebrations i've ever seen in the national football league um so what does this mean moving forward well it means that he's going to be competing this isn't just a, a, a signing that the vikings made to you know see if he makes the team um add some depth He's going to be pushing for for spot with Odenabo, with DJ Wanham to play opposite Daniel Hunter. Um, he he fits well with this defense. Uh, it's a win win because he's going to be able to come here if he has a, a good season. Maybe he has uh, the next off season. Some teams will will throw some more money at him. So great situation. Um, when it comes to the NFL draft, you got to think: Does this affect the Vikings' thoughts at pick fourteen? Um, could he pay Greg Rousseau? A lot of edge rushers are, are looked at for the Vikings at that pick. Maybe not because it's their top need, but it is a need. And the and the guys like Quiddy Pay are right in that area where the value is very good. So does this affect that? I think it absolutely does. Um, I think this gives us a year to maybe wait. Um, wait and see what we got in DJ Wanham with Weatherly, Odenabo, Wanham, Daniel Hunter, and we got some younger guys at the bottom of the roster as well. Let, let's see what we got in them. Um, there, I don't see the point of bringing in a Quiddy Pay right now with Weatherly here. Um, because he's probably not going to see the field that much anyways. Let's go out and get a guy that's going to see the field day one that's going to make an impact. So you got to look at uh, if defensive end, if edge rusher is off the table in round one, what are they, what could they be looking at? Well, they could be looking at anything. It could be receiver. It could be cornerback. Um, it could be an offensive lineman. So this opens the door for a lot of things. I love this signing. We did a, we did a video on this right when he got released by the Panthers saying that this could be a match made in heaven this off season um, as far as him coming back because it is a win win. So while I may be a little too excited about this signing, I just love it. I loved Weatherly and, and, and it squashes a need. And this, these are exactly the type of signings the Vikings will need to make this year, because like I said, I doubt it's for that much money and uh, win, 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 go Vikings. Let me know now in the comments below. What do you think about this move? Do you think this makes the Vikings, uh, give them ability to steer away from an edge rush in round one and just overall thoughts on the move.